Hello, hello, and welcome to a new lesson of this series. Again, sponsored by all the amazing patrons of the channel. So thank them because they are so, so, so cool that make us possible or make possible to make this series. So we already saw the lift. So let's go one lower and we're going to see one of the most basic ones. But again, it's one of the most useful ones. Maybe not at guide level, but afterwards, we will actually be able to use the same operator on a really, really nice way. Remember that for Houdini, the guides are curves. The curves are obviously curves and the hairs are curves too. So we can actually do a lot, a lot of things because the hair strands and guides are exactly the same thing, just with different positions and different uh, connections between them. So the set length, it has different uh, modes. We have the set, that is going to basically float with the value. We have the multiply that it's really, really easy to read. It's just a multiply and we'll have a multiplier of the scale factor because it's not going to add a full on or full blown value there. Then we have the add. The add on this case, it's going to have a length and this is going to increase, but it's not able to decrease even if we have the method and cut or extend, it's not all able to decrease because it's just an add operation. Then we have the subtract that is going to reduce and is not able to increase. This one is important. This is cutting, is not able to increase. Then we have the set maximum length. So this is going to set the maximum length value that we will have on the guide network. This one is useful even for guides and set minimum length. This one again, it's useful because we will have to set the minimal length that we want for our guides to have. In this case, our guides have less than one, so it's fine. And apparently our guides are 0.3. The moment we go above that, it, they start to grow because it's not possible to have a guide that is less, it has less length than this. So let's go back to multiply and we can have cut to extend or we have a different method here that is a scale, that it's going to scale increase the factor. So we have the set and this is going to scale directly or have cut and extend or extend that is going to extend the amount of length of the already existing curve. So there are different uh, values that we have. And finally, the call threshold, it just means that if you have any curve that it's lower than this value, it will actually just click it and just have it back. If you have any curve that is smaller than this value, it will get cold. So that's just basically a conservation value for procedural changes. So if the curve has less length, you will just completely delete the curve. So this is basically how it works. And we have also the really nice thing is the randomize. So you can randomize the length here everywhere and whatever you want. So if you add a multiply, let's say that you have your guides in one, so no changes there and cut to extent and you have the randomize, you can add a cut. So it's similar to the action cut value that we can add accordingly to the length. And this is going to give us, if we have it on any value that we have here, it's going to basically give us the same effect that we had with the cut on XN. So this one is why it's so important. It's just not length, but it's also the cut that is one of the best post-processing or final process for the grooms that every groom should have at the end on a per strand level. Again, this could potentially not be that useful on guide level, but afterwards is going to be really useful to have. But all the other settings, like the scale and the length and the values that we need, it, they may come really handy if you need to make a room that has a, a specific length or if you just want to drive the main length of your fur via this. So thank you for following the tutorial and see you on the next one.